But first tonight, we are tracking the tropics. 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane headquarters. Good evening. I'm Carolina Lead. Right now, it is pretty warm out there, but our but over the next few days, we are keeping a close eye on a disturbance moving into the Caribbean tonight. We're going to send it over to meteorologist Natalie Ferrari with the latest. Natalie, what is it looking like right now? Well, there is a 70% chance, a high potential that now this disturbance right here just starting to move into the Western Caribbean could be our next tropical system as we get closer and closer to early next week. So that is going to be the big story that we're tracking because there's a potential it could actually turn tropical somewhere in the northwestern Caribbean or possibly in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, both of which will try to fling some moisture our direction. So we'll be deep, taking a deeper dive here on that in just a few moments. We also have two disturbances in the eastern Atlantic, both a medium potential of development in the next week. But the good news is they will be staying well over the Atlantic if it does develop or not. But then we also have Tropical Storm Franklin. I do want to show this to you because we did get a brand new update just in moments ago from the National Hurricane Center, continuing to maintain tropical storm status, continuing to also pull to the north towards Bermuda. It is likely going to reach hurricane status this weekend, which would make it our second hurricane so far this season. But it will then, then try to meander just to the west of Bermuda, again, staying well away from the United States, but possibly trying to turn up some surf along parts of the eastern coast of the United States by next week. But here is what we're going to be tracking for you. High potential in the next seven days that this will likely be our next system, a tropical depression, possibly as early as Sunday, and it could form somewhere in this hatched area. What those impacts would mean for us is something we still have to iron out at this point because there's no system to track at this point just yet. But we have incredibly warm ocean waters that we are dealing with out there. So that is conducive for tropical activity. We'll talk more about what we do know and what we're going to be watching out for you in the days ahead.